believes in love anymore. Mm. So let's talk celebrity breakups. Dish Court is now open, and we will have Judge Gary comment on the celebrity cases on Dishes Docket. <laughs> now our first case caught us all by surprise. Tia Mowry and Corey Hardwick are calling it quits after 14 years of marriage. So Aww. Tia took to social media to announce the news in a heartfelt IG post, y'all. She wrote, I have always been honest with my fans and today is no different. I wanted to share that Corey and I have decided to go our separate ways. You guys interviewed Corey, which will air later in today's show. So when you interview Corey, did there seem like it was trouble in paradise? Not really. It seemed like mm. he kind of had it together. He was focusing yeah. on the job at hand, but yeah. but also he's an actor yeah. and apparently oh. a good one at that. Now, Gary, as judge, we would like for you to give us your thoughts on this situation. You think they should get a divorce, or what do you think happened? I think Tia should go ahead on and get her a European husband like tomorrow you, and live a happy life. A European husband? Yeah, she should get her a white man oh. because white men smile in all their oh, pictures. Wow. And she don't have to worry about being stressed. And you know, she did say she met um, Corey, honey, at a bus stop. She loved Corey. It's always hard because they have two children, Gary. So I don't think we should throw her back out into the market. They got to process all of this. It's a lot. You got two children, Sherry, and you're not with your husband. So I think she should divorce him and leave him now. Sherry don't got two kids. She, she got, got Jeff. One. Oh, she I got one? one. Oh, well, child, she got one Gary. damn child. That's still her. One, one is too many then. <laughs> leave him and go on. That's my case and that's my, what is it? Judgment. Okay. Oh, All right. Yo, we got a tough All right, judge. Damn. Like Judge Doom. I'm glad he yeah, wasn't there when sure I was going do. to court. Jeez. <laughs> All right. Well, I should have hired him when I was. Okay. <laughs> Tom Brady and Giselle Bunchton are headed for the end zone, y'all. Wow. It's all over. Yeah. According to sources, both parties have retained divorce lawyers. Uh. Supposedly, they've been living separately for the past couple months following mm. a big fight, and now they're looking at dividing up their multi-million dollar empire. What you guys think? Is this serious? Wow. And they're really about to divorce? Hell it's yeah, they are. They both serious. got attorneys? I think it's so serious. Right, I think she was upset because she put her career to the side to let him do the football thing, and when he was going to retire, she was going to get to get back to doing her, mm -hmm. and he would have to do some stuff with the kids, mm -hmm. and then he switched it up on her, and it completely changed her life, and yeah. I think that is probably what led them to divorce. All right, all right. Hey, divorce. Judge judge with the T, Judge Gary with the T. Uh, <laughs> we, we're talking about property, we got careers, we got kids. What do you think Tom and Giselle should do? Just Giselle should definitely, y'all, leave him. Oh. She should leave him. She should. Oh. No, this is why she should leave him, honey. She should leave him for Antonio Brown. Antonio Whoa. Brown. Yes, Why are you? Talk about a trade. That's a trade. No, she should what? leave him. Ant Antonio Brown, first of all, he knows her better than any other man besides Tom. Wow. He lived in the mansion with her, with she and Tom. He took photographs with her at the Super Bowl. They were embracing each other like lovers, for one thing. No. Tom brought him in the house and let him live with him. What wow. better, honey, than to go with Antonio and leave this man, Tom? No, Tom seems boring. A, and oh, Tom no, Brand no, needs Gary. to stop playing with balls and give it up. But that it is doesn't not... change the problem, though, because A.B. still going to play ball, too. Absolutely. So if you was mad at your ex dude for playing ball, he going to keep playing. But A.B. Yeah. is not playing as much ball, number one. And I think he has more stamina than Tom. She's very tired of Tom. He's Boring. I'm looking at him. Can you tell you boring? You know, I mean, that is my uh -huh. rule. And Gary. I think, no, Sherry, she should leave him and go with Antonio Brown. He's a better player. Gary That's just gaveled the goat there. Okay. Dang. Dang. Well, let's talk about our last and very <laughs> unfortunate case. Now, Miguel's wife, Nazani Mondi, filed for divorce from the single on Tuesday after almost three years uh. of marriage, man. And they was what? together oh. a lot longer than that before they yeah. got married. Mm -hmm. Now, according to court docs, Miguel's wife is citing irreconcilable differences as the reason for the split. And she says that there is a prenup in place. Mm. And now Miguel's free to go about the country and kick it to the ladies. But they've been together 17 years total, so it's just mm. like, what happened? Oh, my God. That's that's why you can't believe nothing on Instagram. Yeah. Well, all right, Gary, our last and final case. What is your verdict? Okay, now, Sherry, this, I mean, this one here is very near and dear to my heart. I love these three people, honey. And I think that, you know, they all should probably wife swap. What? Wait, what? They should just wife swap. So I who, mean, goes, just, who goes with who? Okay, now, Giselle should go with Miguel. And Tia should go with Tom Brady. And, um, you know, I mean, think about it, honey. Miguel's wife, Miss Nazanin. How should her name? Nazanin. Nazanin. I mean, she should go with Corey. But honestly, though, Sherry, this is how I really feel. In the words of a very famous poet, he said, if your girl start acting up, then you take her friend. You know what? And that is my rule. <laughs> wow.